Hi there folks, uh, this is going to be one of those very sort of laid back, uh, quick and casual uh, little videos. Um, even though I'm only doodling, it has still got a quite serious um, tutorial value to it. Um, sorry, I'll just get that out of the way. When you are doodling, you are normally at your best because you're you're not full attention. You haven't done a lot of drawing, and uh, you're not halfway through, and you're really worried you're going to mess something up. So I'm going to go back to my old um, videos, and look, I'm back on my pen. Let me zoom that in. Uh, pen and water soluble ink. Look, I can be. As casual as I want to be. Now, if you want, there is no reason why you shouldn't very, very lightly pencil this in first. Uh, just to give you some sort of guide. When I talk about guide, I'm talking about size when it comes down to on your envelope. And um, the gremlins got me on the first one, but uh, I've managed to overcome them. And look, I've got another one here. Um, here is a fun way of personalising. And now there's a fun way of spelling personalising. But look, it's not about that. So look, I'm going to go back uh, on, on here. And I'm just going to very casually put in some nice generous uh, berries. I could have come over this way a bit more. But never mind. There we go. Here's my holly. And by the way, um, I'm using an old fountain pen here. Look, notice the difference between the two lines. If I if I use it as it's designed, I get a slightly heavier line. So if I want to get a finer line, I just turn the pen up the other way. And look, I've got a much lighter line. That's like I say, even, even though I'm only doodling. Um, one is still learning all the time and there is no reason why you shouldn't get a piece of uh, computer paper and do half a dozen of these um, while you're learning to relax and in this case <laughs> I've lost my brushes okay look one moment I'll be back Okay, right, got my brush. Um, and this is what is known as pen and wash. And it is a lovely process. Get those water drops out of the way. Look, I'm just going to, very casually, and I'm not even sticking to the lines because I actually want that ink to bleed just a little bit. Uh, looks far more casual. There we go. I'm now picking up a little bit of uh, my yellow and dropping it onto my holly leaves. Once again, I'm not being over tight. Look, and I've deliberately gone over that a little bit of um, the ink line there because that is really interesting. And this is what I'm talking about, learning. Um, you can look at your palette sometimes and your palette is far more interesting than your actual painting. Um, it's because when you're on your palette, you've got no pressure there. Well, I've just picked up a little bit of green and even though the yellow is still wet, look, I'm just going to plunk it on. And let those two colours merge. So in actual fact, they're really in a strange sort of way painting themselves. I'm just giving it a little bit of guidance. 
Uh, it hasn't picked up too much of that ink. Um, so I might come back with just a little bit of blue. Let's see how we go. There we go. Now, it's not, I mean, so if you've got um, this on computer paper, you can be doing half a dozen all at once. I'm coming back with just a little bit of blue um, because I want a bit more depth than what I've got in there. There we go. Just to tuck them in behind the berries. And I was hoping that the, the blue ink was going to do that, but it didn't do it, so I've just helped it along a little bit. Right, now, that little tiny item in there is, for the receiver, really exciting. I'm just going to pump this red up a little bit more, make it a little bit more jolly. There we go. Right now, I'm going to zoom that back and you'll see what I've got there now. There we go. Right now, I know I'm very late with this uh, video. And, but I'm very early for next year. And I'm now going to go back once again to one of my early videos. I'm just going to get a scrap of paper here. What have I got? Oh, here's one. Here's one. Right. Now, I'm, now I'm going to put my, use my pen again. There we go. You can put this down in the bottom corner, or you can even put it on the back. Um, it's still it's still a nice little personal touch. It, it in many ways, it's like a signature, um, a bus signature. Look, I'm not even I'm not even sticking to my pen line. So let's zoom that right in the close again. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll just pop it out each side. I can take that right along here if I if I so wish. Well if I so wish I can do anything I want. Now if you want to put um I would suggest, suggest you let it dry off a little bit, but uh, here goes. If you want to put on a couple of little baubles, and I, I put them on, and I'm just staying a little bit away from the big puddles. That makes it just a little bit more Christmassy. Let's put on a couple of gold yellow ones. I'm getting a bit too casual now. I've got, got, got a big blob of the stuff. There we go. Right now, I'm going to zoom that in. It is as simple as that, and it just adds that little bit of personal colour um, to your envelope. Now, as I said, I know I'm running very, very late on this. Look, I've got answers. <laughs> I've got answers to everything, haven't I? I'm going to go back to... Uh, before I do, I'm just going to check that the gremlin hasn't got me. Jolly good. I'm good to go. Right. What I was saying earlier on, I know I'm very, very late on this one. Uh, so here's a possible answer. Let me get that one out of the way. And now what I'm going to do is, when I can get this camera in line, there we go. Right, head out of the way. Uh, an excuse for being late. Here's another little doodle, which I like to do with, uh, with uh, kids.
nice little snail shell. Here's this snail coming along here. In this case, it's going to be a snow person. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my little Christmas tree again on top. Weigh the snail down just a little bit. It's like I say, these, these what I'm doing here are great fun to do in, uh, with children. Um, very casual again. And I'm going to allow that... Um, water soluble ink to bleed just a little bit I look I don't care if I go over the lines it's not about it's not about perfect painting this it's about enjoying the act of painting here we go nice little bit of red on the hat there that gives everyone the clue what it is and this comes under the heading for me of a slow snow smile <laughs> hence that's why your card is late there we go Right, a little bit of uh, snail grey. Go on. There we are. Could be a little bit stronger. A little bit of snow right now. I know you can do snow because we've been looking at the snow person. I don't want it too heavy. So I, look, I'm going to put in a little bit of snow here and I'm going to run it along. Into the right in there, just a little bit. And I'm also going to put on Speed indications. Look, it goes as fast as he or she can. Now, look, it's like I say, this is just fun. And it's fun for the person who gets it. It's also a little bit of fun for the male person delivering it. Let me zoom that in much closer now. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. Little things please little minds and little pants fit little behinds. The kids will love it. <laughs> so, I'm pleased I've done that. Um, now what I've got to do is I've Got to get away from this video and start practicing my little party piece. <laughs> but by the bye, folks. Keep well, be kind to yourself and others. <laughs> I'm back again, right. I forgot to put the Christmas decorations on the Christmas tree. And the other thing which I've forgotten and Without it, it will never get there, folks. Uh, but it does also add that extra little bit of colour. There we go. Enjoy. <laughs>